بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so next thing let's try to see the licensing options with cisco wsa so once you have your model whether it is a physical or a virtual appliance models now we need to uh, get the license now the license is mainly divided into three options now before i go to the options like these are the three options uh, basically depending upon the the number of features you want to support now all these licenses whatever the three licenses which i discussed the options they come in two two uh, two options again means we can say it can be either term based you can get these three licenses either year based like one year two years or five years or you can also get a license based on the user the number of users uh, the request generally happens so again you need to contact the sales uh, customer support team basically they can uh, give some more information again the costing all those things again the licensing uh, either we go with a uh, this license which is general common one the web security essential license now this provides you with an option of url filtering now url filtering as i said you can filter a specific urls where you can define your own custom urls or you can have predefined urls like uh, prevent all social networking sites like that you can selectively uh, decide with a predefined categories so basically is wsa have an inbuilt database which will be used uh, to to do this url filtering or you can build your own url as well and we have something called web reputation web reputation is like generally uh, specific contents or the websites have a rating depending upon the rating like there is something like minus 10 to plus 10 so if if any uh, specific url have a rating of minus 10 basically it's like a very bad website and that will be automatically blocked so this rating is done uh, basically there are many many factors uh, done by centralized database so there is something called web reputation i'll, I'll talk more on this web, web reputation a little bit more in detail in the next sections so i'm just giving a, an overview here the basic overview avc application visibility control so so this helps you to identify the applications like as i said you are using a facebook.com you are accessing this url but inside inside that url you are also using some kind of let's say gaming application so this wsa have a mechanism to do uh, to check the inside contents so not just seeing whether it is a http traffic or not uh, also the specific application used and based on that we can restrict Uh, we call it as a micro application kind of thing so on which port what protocol even if there are options like you have something like https page because it is encrypted even ws have a mechanism to decrypt this page and scan the complete page again encrypt back and send back to the end user so we have something like decryption uh, encryption decryption policies as well so these are the things it supports Actually, it has something like threat intelligence. So, for threat detection by using Cisco Talos, that is a centralized centralized kind of database, and also it's uh, it supports something called layer four traffic monitoring. So, WS have an inbuilt uh, layer four traffic monitoring service, which generally blocks some suspicious sessions, uh, similar to IPS kind of thing for for your web traffic. and cisco talos already said it it is like a intelligence organization where you have a group of experts security experts uh, basically what they do is these experts will provide uh, protection for the customers products and the end services so kind of building the database uh, maintained by a group of uh, expert security experts so additionally it supports uh, policy management you can create a separate policies for individual groups we call them as access policies here a distribution of policies based on different groups and also you you get some reports as well so it, it helps you to maintain the reports and see the reports in a more efficient way 
which will minimize the time wastage, especially when you are uh, monitoring your traffic, you need to have some analyzed reports, some kind of reports or alerts, which will help you to identify the threats or uh, even it will show you uh, most of the options where you can focus uh, completely on, you know, verifying verifying the infected users or the host, those kind of informations. So this is kind of web, web security license. You can go with this. Additionally, if you want, you can, you know, there are additional options like you have web reputation, Sophos and Webroot anti-malware. This is for anti-malware protection. Uh, Sophos and Webroot are kind of vendors where they are specifically responsible, you know, they provides a protection against some kind of malware, malwares or spywares, a kind of antivirus kind of programs. So they basically stop the malicious codes and the malicious applications and blocks most of the unwanted web content in general. So they have their own databases. So basically Cisco integrates with this, with their database to provide anti-malware protection for your web traffic. So if you're going with web security premium license, so you have you get both the both the features inbuilt in this. So if you want both anti-malware protection along with these all these features, so basically you'll be going with the premium license. And as I said, these three licenses can be either term-based, you can go with a term-based license, or you can go with quantity-based license again. Again, there are some additional options, licenses as well. You can go with McAfee anti-malware anti -malware protection, same like for malware protection and also some advanced malware protection. These are like individual additional options. Uh, even you have cognitive threat analysis. Uh, this is basically, it discovered the threats on its own, generally, uh, where you, you, you don't need any human intervention required. Uh, it, it focuses mostly based on the symptoms to identify the methods of attack. And also if you have advanced threat detection, this is uh, basically it's going to track the statistics uh, in a more granular method. So kind of advanced method, we can say advanced threat detection.